Hi, my name is Rick Canizales. I'm the Director of Transportation here at Prince William County. We are here today to talk a little bit about the update to the transportation plan. These are very exciting times. We're updating this plan and calling it the Mobility Plan as we are looking at it in a more comprehensive and multimodal approach. Paulo Belita, our Planning Manager, is here to talk to you about the details and how to comment on this plan. Thank you, Rick. Again, my name is Paulo Belita, Planning Manager with Prince William County Department of Transportation. I'm here today to talk about the Mobility Chapter. If you want to send us comments, please use the online comment form or send an email to pathway2040 at pdocgov.org. Now let's get started. This is an exciting time for transportation in Prince William County as we are in the process of completely restructuring the mobility chapter as part of the comprehensive plan update. This update is a multi-year intensive public engagement effort that will be used to guide future planning decisions in Prince William County for years to come. As part of this update, and for the first time in the county's history, we will be moving trails out of the parks chapter and incorporating it into the mobility chapter. This move will better enable us to reach our goal providing our residents a truly multimodal transportation network. The county has made it a priority to consistently improve the transportation network and meet the needs of our growing community. The goal of the transportation section of the comprehensive plan is to create and sustain an environmental friendly multimodal transportation system that meets the demands for intra and inter-county trips, is integrated closely with existing and planned development, and provides a network of safe, efficient, and accessible modes of travel. In order to meet these goals, the county works with a wide variety of local, regional, state, and federal partners. In addition, the county manages capital improvement projects and works with the Board of County Supervisors to find effective solutions that resolve transportation issues. As a result of these efforts, Prince William County has been able to produce a $1 billion capital improvement program of projects. Key to this growth of the transportation capital improvement program has been the department's successful pursuit of external funding through securing grants, leveraging local funds to take advantage of regional, state, and federal programs, and working with a wide range of private and public partners. Over a two-year period, the Department of Transportation increased the percentage of external funds in the Transportation Capital Improvement Program by nearly 20%. This allowed Prince William County's funding for mobility projects to increase 116%, while reducing the county's use of local funds by over $7 million. The following objectives, based on direction from the Board of County Supervisors and feedback from our residents, are guiding this mobility chapter update. It includes aligning and coordinating mobility and land use, update to the county's mobility vision, review current policies, goals, and objectives, connect mobility to strategic plan goals, defining future mobility options, increasing overall bike and ped connectivity, and the addition of blue ways for recreation. The current transportation chapter of the comprehensive plan was adopted in 2008. The intent of the current transportation plan is to provide a multimodal transportation network, including roadways, transit facilities, and services, as well as non motorized options, that allows for the safe and efficient movement of goods and people throughout the county and into surrounding jurisdictions. The thoroughfare plan provides a guide that will assist the county in its goals of providing the necessary roadway infrastructure to satisfy the estimated future traffic demands in the county. This section of the plan provides methods for evaluating the level of service of roadways and intersections. It outlines strategies for providing the necessary roadway improvements highlighted in this section and discusses methods for potentially reducing demand or increasing the efficiency of the existing transportation system. The trail section of the transportation chapter identifies goals and strategies for creating a network of multi-use trails to connect to the residential areas with county, state, and national parks, forests and wildlife management areas, as well as with places of cultural and historical interest, schools, retail areas, and transportation nodes. Trails can take many shapes and forms, and when planning a mobility project, we look closely at the specific needs and users to determine the appropriate type of bicycle and pedestrian facilities. A trail serving elementary school students walking to school or senior citizens accessing medical and retail services it's going to look quite different from a trail serving mountain bike riders and equestrians. However, regardless of the type of trail, connectivity and safe facilities are the guiding goals of all trail projects in Prince William. The Mobility Chapter Update affords an opportunity to expand on current goals and strategies for Prince William County Trails. The intent is to actively seek to acquire and preserve parkland along identified greenway and blueway corridors to provide increased trail connectivity between existing parks and other nodes of activity in the county and adjacent jurisdictions. It includes expanding and enhancing the county's recreational trail system to provide a world-class resource for residents, a regional draw, 
and an economic driver for the county. It includes integrating the county's recreational trail system into a multi-jurisdictional system of trails entering the county and integrate the recreational trail system into the county's transit, bicycle, pedestrian networks. It includes focus on non-motorized park access, particularly at the neighborhood level. Transit is a key part of the current transportation chapter and will remain so in the future mobility chapter. The transit section of the transportation chapter identifies policies and strategies to provide infrastructure and services to minimize single oxy vehicles or SOV trips and reduce traffic congestion, improve quality of life by offering transportation options to residents and create a more efficient and coordinated transportation and transit network through transit supportive development and land use. Prince William County does not directly operate transit within the county. Instead, the county supports transit through the direct financial contributions and governance and just as importantly, through strong collaboration with our transit partners and alignment of long-range transportation plans. The county's transit provider is OmniRide, also known as the Potomac and Rappahannock Transportation Commission, or PRTC. OmniRide is the operating name for the mobility and transit services offered by PRTC. OmniRide operates express local and bus services in neighbor along neighborhoods surrounded by the 95 and 66 corridors. It includes promoting carpools and van pools throughout Northern Virginia through transportation demand management programs. The Virginia Railroad Express, or VRE, is a community rail service from the Northern Virginia suburbs to Alexandria, Crystal City, and Washington, D.C., with several stations in Prince William County. It includes nine member jurisdictions on two main lines, the Fredericksburg and Manassas line, with 16 trains daily in each line. It includes 19,000 daily riders on each line. With the historic $3.7 billion Transforming Rail in Virginia agreement, there are big changes coming in rail transit in Prince William County. This includes a purchase agreement between the Commonwealth and CSX Transportation. It includes a phased implementation of capacity improvements over the next 10 years. It includes VRE service expansion enabled by the completion of each phase of the program. In addition to expanding existing transit in the county, the Virginia Department of Rail and Public Transportation has recently completed a year-long study on the feasibility of introducing new transit options to the county. The Springsfield to Quantico Enhanced Public Transportation Feasibility Study provides a range of enhanced transit options between the Franconia Springfield Metro Station and the Quantico Marine Corps Base, including increased express bus and VRE services, as well as bus rapid transit and extension of Metro Rail. The study is being submitted to the General Assembly and will be used to guide future transit planning. Public engagement has been central to the mobility chapter update. A 2020 mobility poll highlights that reducing traffic congestion and commuter times and increasing trails are priorities to Prince William County residents, and these priorities will be strongly reflected in the new mobility chapter. The mobility chapter will also reflect the 2021-2024 strategic plan adopted by the board on July 20, 2021. The strategic plan includes a transportation and mobility section with the following objectives and sample action strategies. It includes objective one, adapt to changing mobility trends. Objective two, improve multimodal options. Objective three, increase public transportation utilization. And objective four, decrease congestion, improve travel time reliability. Policies and action strategies under consideration for the mobility chapter update include looking at emerging and future mobility trends looking at transportation, sustainability, and resiliency, and looking at equity and access in transportation. The input of Prince William County residents is critical to creating a mobility chapter that fully meets the needs of our growing community. Please get involved by visiting Prince William County's Pathway to 2040 website. Thank you.